reports from Iraq today say the ISIS army and other Sunni Muslim forces captured another major target. It is the oil refinery in Beji that produces one-third of Iraq's fuel. And losing that refinery will make life harder for the government and ordinary Iraqis. Clarissa Ward is in Baghdad with new information from the battle zone. Good morning. We have spoken to tribal leaders in the area who tell CBS News that Iraqi security forces have surrendered this country's largest oil refinery. According to those leaders, more than 100 Iraqi soldiers agreed to lay down their weapons in exchange for a guarantee of safe passage out of that facility. This amateur video claims to show celebrations on the streets of Beji after the capture of the country's largest oil refinery. Iraq's armed forces have denied reports of this latest loss. Just yesterday, they released footage which they claim showed them striking militant targets around the refinery. There were reports of more government airstrikes today. Each new setback for the Iraqi army makes these men more important. They are fighters with the Mehdi army, one of the most powerful Shiite militias, and their stated goal is to help the Iraqi government destroy ISIS. We travel to the conservative Shiite enclave of Sadr City, home to the Mehdi army. American soldiers fought some of their toughest battles here, but today tribal leader Abu Ahmed al Fraji told us the U.S. is an ally in the fight against ISIS. We will pay any price, people will die, blood will be spilled, he said. The most important thing is to kick them out of Iraq. Do you want help from America? I swear we only need their planes, he said. Only We don't need their army because we have our own, but we need help with weapons vehicles and planes. Like tens of thousands here, two of Abu Ahmed's sons have volunteered to fight jihad. He told us it is a duty for every Iraqi to defend their country. The problem with these militias is that they stoke sectarian tensions, and the proof of that is in the rising death count here. But that is exactly what ISIS wants, to drive a wedge between the Sunnis and the Shiites and make this a religious battle as opposed to a battle between Iraqi government forces and extremists. For CBS This Morning, Clarissa Ward, Baghdad.